What if an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond? Some actual bona fide experts think it might not be your typical space rock or maybe any kind of rock or a natural phenomenon at all. Or a natural phenomenon at all. Today, we're talking about our new interstellar visitor, 3i Atlas, and why some very smart people are whispering the A word. And no, I don't mean asteroid. Let's start with the cold, hard facts, because they're weird enough on their own. The Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, Atlas, spotted this thing from an observatory in Chile. Telescope built to track fast-moving space objects in Chile has caught a comet from beyond the solar system. Its orbital eccentricity is above one, meaning it's not from around here. It's just passing through, a tourist on a galactic road trip. But this tourist is behaving oddly. Hubble has been tracking it, and the data revealed a puzzle. Its brightness profile is steep, unnaturally steep. Using the standard model, you know, assuming it's just a dumb rock reflecting sunlight, this thing would have to be a whopping 20 kilometers across, a absolute unit, a chonker of cosmic proportions. But here's the kicker. The universe is a pretty empty place. The statistical odds of a random 20 kilometer interstellar boulder just casually wandering into our solar system are astronomically low. We're talking a once in 10,000 years event. So either we just won the worst lottery ever, or our math is wrong. Enter Harvard's Avi Loeb. You might remember him from such controversies as Oumuamua is an alien light sail. He's back with a new provocative paper. He and his colleague Eric Keto suggest a wild idea. What if 3i Atlas isn't reflecting light? What if it's making its own? Think about that. If it's self-illuminating, this behemoth could actually be a pipsqueak. Just a few hundred meters across, suddenly the probability of it showing up isn't so crazy. But the reason it's glowing, that's the million dollar question. The possibilities are festive. Radioactive decay? Sure, nothing says welcome like a glowing space-born Chernobyl. Internal heating? Great, it's a cosmic baked potato. Or, and let's be honest, this is why we're all here. It's artificial. With zero meaning it's a natural object, like a comet, for sure and 10 meaning it's definitely a technological object. Now the skeptics, the party poopers of science, God love them, they point to the data. Gemini South and NASA's IRTF found strong water ice signatures. It looks like a comet. It's spewing dust. Case closed, right? Maybe, but even that's weird. The water ice seems pristine, unpolluted by our sun's particular flavor of physics. It's a time capsule from another star system. But Loeb has a counter. If this were a probe, a piece of alien tech on a billion year journey, what would it collect? Space dust, ice. It'd be covered in the gunk of the galaxy. It's the ultimate cosmic road trip and its windshield is filthy. We might not be looking at the object itself, but it's accumulated baggage. And then there's the flight path. Buckle up because this is where it gets seriously spooky. 3i Atlas is on a retrograde orbit, but it's tilted only about five degrees from our solar system's plane. The odds of that happening by chance? About 0.2%. A little sus, but okay. But it's about to have a very busy autumn. It'll swing past Mars. Then it reaches its closest approach to the sun. Then it says hello to Jupiter. The combined probability of a random object making such precise close approaches to three planets? One in 20,000. This isn't a trajectory, it's a planned tour. The grand flipping tour of the inner solar system. And here's my favorite part. The perihelion, its closest approach to the sun. That happens when the object is on the far side of the sun from us. We can't see it. If you wanted to, say, fire a braking thruster to slow down and park in our solar system without the pesky inhabitants noticing, that'd be the perfect time to do it. Coincidence? The universe is lazy. It doesn't do coincidences this elaborate. Now let's be fair. The scientific consensus is still firmly in the it's probably a comet camp. And they have good points. The dust production rates are normal. 
the ejection velocities match. It hasn't started spewing gas yet because it's still far out, chilling near Jupiter's orbit. Most comets are quiet out there, and the self-illumination idea has a power problem. To glow that bright, it'd need to generate about 10 gigawatts of power, continuously, for millions of years. That's a lot of batteries. Unless they figured out nuclear fusion or something we can't even dream of, which I suppose is the whole point of this conversation. So how do we solve this? We watch. The next few months are everything. James Webb will train its infrared eyes on it, looking for heat signatures that betray its true nature. And there's a delicious proposal on the table. When 3i Atlas swings by Mars in October, we could use the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to get a family photo. Our robot on Mars taking a picture of what might be someone else's robot. The irony is so thick you could swim in it. The new Vera Rubin Observatory will soon find dozens of these interstellar visitors. We'll get a real sense of what's normal. But for now, 3i Atlas is unique. An anomaly. So where does that leave us? Staring into the void, hoping it blinks first. Either 3i Atlas is a completely natural, if bizarre, interstellar comet, teaching us that the universe is even stranger than we thought. Or it's a piece of technology, a probe, a message in a bottle that's been sailing the cosmic ocean for eons, and it just washed up on our shore. Proof that we are not the only ones who got smart, looked up at the stars, and decided to throw something into the dark to see if it hits anything. The next time you look up at the night sky, remember, something is up there right now, moving with a purpose we don't yet understand. It's a reminder that the cosmos isn't just beautiful and vast, it's also deeply unnervingly mysterious. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. If you want to be here when the next mystery drops, just hit subscribe and let us know in the comments. Natural wonder or alien payload.